So here's the code we've been looking at in the previous uh, couple of tutorials. So we have a greet method which takes in a greeting interface and we had an implementation of the greeting interface called hello world greeting which just did system.out.print of hello world. And now the greeter can pass that instance to the greet method and then the greet method calls the perform on that interface which means that the implementations perform method runs. Now we want to change this to a lambda expression. What we want to do is let's say I call this my lambda function. This is going to be a lambda expression in place of this implementation of the greet, uh, the perform method. So what I'm going to do is go to greeter and write that same thing as a lambda expression. So this is an expression that there's a function that doesn't take in any arguments. So that's going to be empty. And then the body is system.out.print of hello world. And then end this with a semicolon. And the question that we were struggling with is what's the type of this variable? It's a variable that contains a lambda expression, a lambda function. So what's the type? Is there a type called function in Java 8? So let's say there was a something like this, right? Function type. We don't have this in Java 8, but let's assume we had this. Well, this function type, if it existed, would have had to provide all the inputs for what this function is going to be like. It had to tell what the input argument is or what the return type is. In this case, let's say it was something like this, right? So input argument is void, and then the return is also Void. This could have worked, but the Java language designers didn't really do this. They didn't create a new type called function type. They actually said, hey, we have this really nice system in Java to declare functions, declare methods, and that's the interface. So they have reused the same construct for declaring Lambda expressions as well. So here's what you need to do to create a new Lambda function type in Java. First step create a new interface, right? We are leveraging the concept of interface in order to declare Lambda functions. So in order to declare this function, the first thing you need to do is to create an interface for it. So let me go ahead and create one. Interface, my Lambda. The name is not significant yet. We can give it any name you want, but this is the first step. The second step, create one method in this interface which has the exact same signature as the lambda that you're trying to declare. So what's the signature of this lambda here? It's a function that takes in no arguments and it returns a void. So you need to create a method here which takes the exact same signature as that. So this would be a void and then I'm, I can call this any name I want for the function. Let me call this foo and it doesn't take in any method arguments as well. So now I have an interface with one method which has the exact same signature as the lambda expression that I'm trying to declare. Now I can use this interface as the type of this lambda function. I'm reusing the type of this interface for this lambda function. So what I can do is I can declare this variable as of type my lambda. And this is it, Java is happy. Now Java says, okay, I, I have all the information I need to figure out what the type of this Lambda expression is. It's gonna go look at this interface and you are pretty much guaranteeing the Java compiler that it has only one method. It's gonna look at that method and it's gonna say, okay, I know exactly what this Lambda expression does. It basically takes in no arguments and it returns a void, okay? Now this lets the compiler do the type checking. Now I can have an expression like this. Let's say I take an int i as an argument. This is not gonna work because you see what the error is. It says the Lambda expression signature does not match the signature of the functional interface method foo. So it's basically looking at this interface method foo and it's saying, well, the signature doesn't match. So that's basically what the Java compiler is doing. It's basically uh, reusing the concept of an interface to declare a function expression, a Lambda expression. Okay, let's do one more example. So let's say I have uh, the add function that we looked at in the previous tutorial. So I have a function, I have a lambda that takes two integers and it returns the sum of those two. So let's say I call this add function and this is gonna be a lambda which takes in two integers int a and then int b and the return is a plus b. Now what do I need to do to find a type for this thing? Well, I can create a new interface. That's the first step. So I'm going to create an interface called my add. And then that's the first step. The second step is to create a method in this interface, which has the exact same signature as this Lambda expression. And what's the signature? It takes two integers 
and it returns an integer. So I'm going to make this an int add and it takes in two integers. Again, the name doesn't matter. I can call it int x and int y. Now I have an interface which describes this lambda expression. It has a method which describes this lambda expression. So I can take this type and I can reuse this type for the lambda expression as well. Now again, if this were to change, now let's say I have an int c, this is not gonna work because it's gonna say the uh, signature doesn't match. See, it's the same error. And similarly, if I were to change the interface signature to say something like this, string s, again, this is gonna fail. Notice that the interface is fine. Interface is just any arbitrary interface with a method that you've declared. It's just that when you're applying it to a Lambda expression, the compiler says, well, that's, this is not good. We need an extra parameter here and it has to be a string. Now, I can mix and match these things and you can see the error right away. Now, if I were to make this, the second one, my Lambda, again, you can see an error because the signature doesn't match. But now, think about this for a minute. I'm gonna get rid of this add now. Can get rid of this, I can get rid of this. Now notice that I told you that the interface name really doesn't matter over here. I can, I called it my lambda, but I could have called it something else. And the method name here doesn't matter. I've called this foo, but I could have called this something else. If you look at this line, the line where I have declared this lambda expression, all that matters is the name of the interface should be the same as the type. So whatever I'm calling here, I need to call this lambda expression the exact same thing. And the method really doesn't matter. Now, do you think you have seen an interface like this recently, which is basically an interface which has one method, which takes in no input arguments and it has a return type as void. Does this look familiar? Well, it turns out we have already created an interface for this, which is the greeting interface. You see this? This is an interface which has a method called perform, which takes in no arguments and it returns a void. If all that matters is that there needs to be an interface with the method that matches the signature, can I use the greeting interface for this lambda? Well, the good news is you can. Now, if, what if I call this greeting? Well, the compiler is still happy because guess what? The signature of this lambda matches the signature of this interface. So the step one that I talked about, about creating an interface is actually optional. If you have an interface which already matches this, well, you are already set. You can just use that interface. Okay, so I can actually get rid of this interface. We don't need to create one. We already have one. So my Lambda function is of type greeting over here. Now I can create a hundred different interfaces like this. Each of them having one method, which has a wide method name with no arguments. And I can choose any of those interfaces for this Lambda expression. All that the compiler needs is to make sure that this type matches the type of the method inside that interface. Now here's another thing that I could potentially do. Let's say I add a method over here. Let's say I add uh, the add method, right? So let's say I do an int add int a and then int b. Well, this is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. I can add as many methods as I want inside this interface. But now guess what happens when I switch back to this thing? You see here now it's gonna give me an error. The target type of this expression must be a functional interface. I'm gonna cover what a functional interface is later, but the idea is now the compiler is confused. The compiler is basically saying, hey developer, I know you're asking me to check out this interface to figure out what the signature of this method is. But when I go see that interface, there's not one method, there are actually two methods. Now I don't know if you meant to create a Lambda expression for this method or for this method. Now, the compiler is confused and it gives us an error. So the implicit rule here is, when you're using an interface to declare a Lambda expression, that interface should have only one method. And that method should be having the same signature as this expression. And if we do that, then the compiler is gonna be happy again. Now, since this is of type greeting, how is it different from something like this? If I were to say greeting, hello world greeting equals new hello world greeting. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an instance of a specific implementation of the greeting interface. Here, what am I doing? I'm creating a Lambda expression, which is in a way implementing the only method in this greeting interface. Now, what's the difference between this and this? Let's talk about that in the next tutorial.